You know how you can help me out today? How? Don't help me. Oh, come on, Luigi. Let's do it like we did yesterday, huh? Come on. You'll be the famous surgeon, and I'll be the nurse. Well, what am I going to do with this girl? All right. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. Knife. Knife. Spoon. Spoon. Fork. Fork. Parmigiano cheese. Parmigiano cheese. Doctor, you were magnificent. It's nothing. You saved my brother's life. Rosso, please, don't. Man, not your Rosso, stop. Oh, Luigi, I guess it just isn't any use. You just don't like me. You're always running away from me. Yeah. Listen, Rosa, look, I like a milk very much, but that don't mean that I'm not going to run away if a cow tries to put his arms around my neck. <laughs> Dance? Uh, Rosa, look, uh, I told you, uh, I'm going to be very busy at, at that dance. Uh, i got to be there to help my teacher, Miss Spalding. You see, i got to be around in case of emergency and, and nobody asks her to dance. That's all I hear from you. Miss Spalding, Miss Spalding. Sometimes I think you're in love with her. Oh, come on. And now, Rosa, please, don't be silly. I respect her greatly due to the cause that she's the one who's teaching me the English language is so nice. That's all. Rosa! Rosa, guess the what? What, Papa? Wait till you hear this, Mr. Stuck-up Luigi Bosco. Uh, we don't need you to take Rosa to the dance. On account of Herman Schmidt just called up and asked if he could take her, and I said yes. Hey, Herman Schmidt, the, the one who makes the cheap sausages? That's right. Oh, Papa, I'm going to the dance? That's right, my little flower. And with one of the biggest cheap sausage makers in all Chicago. Oh, I better put pizza. I've got something to wear. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> ah, she's just so happy. Bless her little heart. That's right. Did Herman Schmidt really call her to take uh, Rosa to the dance? That's what I said. He called up and he begged me to let him take her. He almost faint on the telephone when I give him my permission on account of he's crazy about my Rosa. Crazy. I guess he is. <laughs> you don't appreciate my Rosa because she's a too good for you. It takes a big sausage maker to appreciate my daughter Rosa. Okay, Pasquale, okay. He wants to take her to the dance because he's crazy about her. That's all there is to it. Understand? I understand, Pasquale. Good. Oh, by the way, before I forget, cross off the menu every kind of meat we got and put on sausages. Tomorrow we're going to have a kitchen full up with sausages. Yeah. <laughs> Just what I thought. Ah, uh, Pasquale is a good papa. He means all right. Good morning, Mr. Basco. Hey, Miss Spalding. Hello. I just came by to see how the tickets for the dance were going. Just the great, the great. Everybody to sell his tickets. Well, that's fine. Sit down, Miss Spalding. Oh, well, thank you. I just checked with the uh, program committee and the orchestra's all set. Good. Uh, we're going to use uh, Alfonso Scalopini and his five hot peppers? Uh, no, Mr. Scalopini wanted too much money, so they've uh, signed a contract with... Uh, Oh, uh, what's the name of that band? You know, the one where the uh, saxophone player is a street cleaner and the uh, piano player is a janitor and uh, the leader of the band is the fellow who cleans out the furnaces. Oh, you mean uh, the aristocrats? Yes, yeah. yes, that's right, the aristocrats. <laughs> fine band. Yes, fine. fine. Oh, one more thing, Mr. Basco. The committee decided that tuxedos were too formal, so all the men will wear blue suits. Uh-uh. Well, what's the matter? Well, I know where to render the tuxedo. But where am I going to get enough money to buy a blue suit? Well, don't you have a blue suit? <laughs> the blue suit that I got, I hate to tell you how old it is. You mean it came with you from Italy? Miss Spalding, when I was in Ellis Island, that suit was already a citizen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't worry about it, Mr. Basco. If you don't have a blue suit, I'm sure that a brown one or a gray one will do. No. No, Miss Spalding, yes. If everybody's going to have a blue suit, then i got to have a blue suit, that's all. Because what else? I'm going to feel out of place, like, like a, a matzo ball in a plate of minestrone. <laughs> you know what you could 
do, Mr. Basco? You have a steady job. Why don't you open up a charge account at one of the stores? Then you could buy a suit on credit. Mm, no. No, no, Miss Baldy, I'm sorry. Before I come to this country, my mama says to me, one thing, Luigi, when you buy something, always pay with cash and money. Or else it's going to happen to you what happened to poor Uncle Pietro. Oh, three years ago, Uncle Pietro bought uh, a goat on installment, you know, from the bank. Five liters a down and two liters every month, plus the carrying charge. Poor Uncle Pietro is still paying for the goat. Oh, well, that's a long time, and that's a lot of money. Well, uh, Uncle Pietro don't mind the money so much, but it's just that he's a nervous sick that the bank is going to find out that the goat is dead. <laughs> well, don't you have a friend you could borrow some money from? A friend? I mean, where are you going to find a friend uh, uh, who's generous and got a big heart? Uh, you won't talk about clean apron! How about Mr. Pasquale? I guess so. Well, you can't find a friend who is uh, generous and got a big heart? Then you settle for the other kind. Well, good luck, Mr. Basco. I'll see you later. Well, uh, thank you so much, Miss Baldwin, and goodbye, eh? Bye. Goodbye. Hey, Luigi, did you take my brand new apron with the... Ah, uh, ah, uh, I might have known. Come on, take it off, take it off. Is this yours? Yes. I didn't know this. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll give it to you. There you are. Yeah. Let me put it on. Pasquale, you look uh, tired. Why don't you sit down and uh, I fix you up a nice, uh, fresh cup of coffee? Eh? Hey, come on, eh? Well, you gotta make go bigger boss. Uh, feel very comfortable. Sit down. Come on. Atta boy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna cool you off. <laughs> you feel good? You know, you look wonderful. You know, lately I've been noticing that you uh, lose uh, a lot of weight. You handsome dog, you. <laughs> Luigi, tell me how much money you want so I can refuse and get back to work. That's right. Papa, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna lay right down and die! Rosa! Die! Oh, what's the matter, baby face? Yeah. Oh, what's the matter, baby face? Look, I can't go to the dress in this dress. I just can't. you got to get me a new one. A new dress? Are you crazy? It's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Say, can this be my little Rosa? Hey, is this you? Luigi, is this my daughter Rosa? It's her. I recognize her voice. <laughs> Papa, please. It's much too tight. I won't even be able to sit down in it. Well, then don't sit down. Lean on Herman, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, Luigi, eh? <laughs> oh, Papa, please. I've had this dress for five years. Do you want people to say, there goes Pasquale's daughter in an old-fashioned dress? They're going to say, boy, that Pasquale is some cheapskate. What a tightwad. Mm. How much cost the new dress, eh? About $45. Sticks and the stones could break my bones, but names could never hurt me. <laughs> Papa, for the last time, are you going to buy me a new dress or not? Rosa, for the last time you don't need a dress, you shouldn't have a new dress. I'm sure you don't want a new dress, and I'm not going to buy a new dress. Then I won't go. I just won't go! Rosa! Rosa, you got to go! The icebox is full of Herman sausages! Ay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, girls. They think the money grows on trees. You know, they only do that to please us men, Pasquale. Women don't need a new dress to please a man. In the old country, my dear wife, she always ran around in potato sacks and the flower bags. And she was still pleasing to look at? I don't know. I never looked at her. <laughs> well, that's the point I'm trying to bring to you. Why don't you buy a poor Rosa dress? Yeah, sure. You can talk with my money. When I was poor, I was uh, generous, too. Pasquale, look. I'm your friend, eh? Yeah. And I don't mind telling you, you are much too cheap with your money. Oh, uh, sure, sure. I wouldn't give it away, eh? Buy new dresses. Lend money to every Tom, Dick, and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, don't worry about Luigi. Don't worry about Luigi. Mm. Because I was going to borrow some money to get a blue suit for the dance. But now, I'm not even going to ask you. That's a fine, because I wasn't even going to give it to you. <laughs> well, that's good, because I'm not even going to ask. Fine. You know something? In America, you know, there's other ways of getting a blue suit without no money. And that's just what I'm going to do. And you can keep your precious money. And I hope that the both of you can live together happily ever after. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Oh, the <laughs> I wonder what he meant there's other ways to get a blue suit without money. Mamma mia! I hope I don't drive him to steal something. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Luigi wouldn't do a thing like that. I don't think. Can just to hear you telling me don't buy on credit. I know I promise you, but what am I going to do? I need a blue suit, and this is the only way I can get it. Mama, please don't fool around. Don't hold on the door, please. Mama, please. I'm uh, the, uh, the credit office is closed from one to two. Oh. Well, as a matter of fact, it's uh, two now. It ought to be open any minute. Oh, that's good. It's important matter, you know. Oh? Hey, my name is uh, Luigi Bosco. Oh, how do you do? I'm Joe Healy, uh, uh, the, uh, the store detective. Oh, I see. Opening up the uh, charge account, are you? Yes, sir. Uh, I never have one before, you know. But my school is going to have a dance, and I need a blue suit. Well, uh, you came to the right place. Good. Oh, uh, there's Mr. Whitney, the credit manager now. Good luck. Thank you. Come in. Yes, can I help you? I, uh, I'd like to open up a, a charge account. Certainly, certainly. Uh, sit right down. Thank you. And now then, have you ever had a charge account with us before? No. I always pay cash money when I buy. That's why I never buy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, paying cash is fine, but credit is a great convenience. Now, let's just fill out this application and we'll see what can be done. Yes, sir. Your name? Uh, Basco. Uh, Luigi Basco. Uh, that's with a C, not a K. Luigi Basco. You got a middle name? No, just the first and the last. We was a poor people. <laughs> well, do you need a middle name? Well, it might be important. If we should have another Luigi Basco, we can tell which one is you. Oh. Then, then why don't you write down uh, Luigi with the black eyes and the dark wavy hair, Basco? <laughs> All right, Mr. Basco, let's go on. Sorry. Are you married? Well, you got a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have, and uh, she's married. Oh, but that's nice. That's fine. <laughs> Is that her baby? Yes, sir, and what a baby. A beautiful bambino. Do you mind? No, not at all. It looks just like you. Oh? Oh, you think so, Mr. Vasco? Sure, look. The same eyes, the same nose, same chin. And I bet you when it's going to grow up, it's even going to have your mustache. It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Vasco. Now then, uh, uh, do you have any charge accounts anyplace? No. Ever since what happened to my Uncle Pietro, us Vascos always pay cash. I see. Aren't you going to ask me what happened to Uncle Pietro? Definitely not. And now, Mr. Vasco, don't you have any credit reference you can give me? Well, uh, the Free Public Library lets me take out the books for free. <laughs> yes, I know. I know, but haven't you ever bought anything on credit? No, no. No. I always live inside my income. Hmm. That's bad. You see, unless you bought on credit, it'll be impossible for me to get a credit rating from the credit association. Wait a minute. You mean I have to get a charge account so that I can get the credit? So that for the charge account to get the credit, you get the... Ch you, hey, I'm getting dizzy, hey. I'm sorry. It sounds strange, I know. But don't worry. You'll get your charge account. It'll just take a little longer, that's all. Say a week or ten days. And, uh, by that time, the dance is going to be over. And everybody's still laughing at Luigi Basco, how we looked in a broken down blue suit. I'm sorry. I really am. That's all right. Thank you, Mr. Whitney. She's beautiful. And don't worry, she's not going to have a mustache. <laughs> uh, Mr. Basco. Yes, sir? 
Just take a seat outside for a moment. I'm going to call my superior and see if I can't do something for you. Thank you, but I mean, if it's going to be too much... No, 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 it's no bother. Now, just take a seat. All right. It serves me right for living inside of my income, while everybody else in the country is on the outside. After a moment, we'll return to life with Luigi. Whether it's night school, a la Luigi, or the day school that our children know, there's no excuse for overcrowding, for out-of-date facilities, low pay that discourages new teachers, and sometimes even dangerous fire hazards. If this is true in your schools, your help is needed by local groups fighting for better conditions. Join them. Don't sell tomorrow's leaders short. Now back to life with Luigi. Hi, Luigi, what are you doing here in the dress department? No, I'm in the I'm in the credit department. But I might just as well be someplace else. But what are you doing here? Did Pasquale give you the money? No, that papa of mine. He wouldn't give me any money. Oh, Luigi, I'm so unhappy. Yeah, all right, so, so what are you going to do? Are you going to enjoy yourself at the dance anyway? Oh, no, I won't in that terrible dress. Oh, Luigi, everybody's going to laugh at me. <laughs> Rosa, please. It's the people. Don't cry, please. I can't help it. I'm so miserable. Oh, no, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Slow up, slow up. Uh, Come on. You, you leak in the faster than I can mop you up. <laughs> You're so sweet, Luigi. Why can't my papa be more like you? And, uh, your papa's a finer man. Except with the money. You see, your papa's just discovered that he can't take it with him. So, he wants to be with it as long as possible while he's still here. <laughs> But wouldn't you think he'd want to make his only daughter happy? After all, who does he love better, me or his money? Oh, you, Rosa. Only he's known his money a longer time. <laughs> I can't laugh, Luigi. Every time I think of going to that dance in that terrible dress, it just breaks my heart. Yeah, I know just how you feel. What are you going to do? He would not even lend me the money to buy a suit. I cannot even get one on credit before the dance. I don't know what to do. Oh, poor Luigi. You, you can't wear your old blue suit, huh? The blue suit. Not even the moths wanted. <laughs> it's a shame. I, I wish I could help you, Luigi. I wish I could help you, Rose. <laughs> Thanks, Luigi. Oh, look at the time. I, I gotta meet Papa downstairs. He's buying me a present so I don't feel so bad. He's buying you a present? Yeah, a vacuum cleaner. Huh? <laughs> now, what are you gonna do? Now, don't feel so bad, Rose. Come on. You too, Luigi. Atta girl. Mr. Basco, yes, sir. come into my office a moment. I have wonderful news. Haircuts have come down in prices? <laughs> now, how would that affect me? <laughs> no, no, it's something else. Come on in. I've, uh, I've just secured permission to issue you a one-purchase credit card so you can get your suit today. Now, what's your address, Mr. Basco? Uh, Mr. Ridley, you're just a wonderful man, and that's all. Uh, uh, 21 on North Halstead Street. North Halstead. I think you can be trusted, Mr. Basco. Uh, your phone? And um, Holly Court, uh, 9937. And um, I can be trusted. You know, you can call up at the library. <laughs> <laughs> 9937. There you are. Now, you take that right down to men's clothing, and you'll get your suit right away. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead on your charge account. Mr. Whitney, you know, I always think that... President Eisenhower and Rocky Marciano are the two greatest men in the whole United States. But just now, you knock a Marciano out the second place. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Basco. I'm honored. Oh, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Right. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, hello. Well, say, what's this? Well, it looks like you did all right for yourself. Got a temporary purchase card, huh? That's right. Forty-five right. dollars. Say, listen, can you tell me where I can buy the men's suits? Uh, fourth floor. Take the stairs to the left. Good. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm sorry, madam. <laughs> Those are the best kind. They don't talk back. Forty-three ninety-eight. Well, Rosa will like this so much. Well, who's Rosa? Your wife? No, just the opposite. She's my friend. Oh. <laughs> Forty-three ninety-eight. Oh, I know this will make us so happy. I got this to get the suit. And I'm gonna get the suit. I got a right to be happy, too. I'm a human being. Can't make up your mind, huh? Mr. Healy, clothes mean much more to a woman than they mean to a man, huh? I'll say. I mean, if, uh, if a man has got an old, uh, old suit on, uh, people don't think of nothing. But if a girl hasn't got a nice dress, uh, it's pretty terrible, huh? Yeah, to her it is. Every year, my wife tells me if I don't get her a new coat for Easter, she's gonna leave me. And you get her the coat? No, I don't. But she makes up for it. She leaves you? No, she stays. <laughs> and I never hear the end of it. Uh, you see what I mean? They, 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 they just like nice clothes, that's yeah. all. What can you do, man? I'm gonna do it. Gonna buy a dress instead of a suit, huh? That's right. Uh, listen, where can I get a, a sales lady? Oh. Oh, Miss Birch. Miss Birch will take care of you. Thank you. Yes? Uh, take good care of Mr. Basco. He's a friend of mine. Oh, thank you so I much, Mr. Well. Healy. Thank you. That's all right. Us uh, victims got to stick together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of a dress would you like? Uh, I like this dress over here. Oh, that's a lovely one. Uh, what size does the young lady take? Uh, size? 10, 12, 14, 16. If you go by 10, so you get there much faster. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, maybe, maybe you can tell by me. Uh, I wear size 38, and she is uh, three times me. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't do as much good, Mr. Basco. Men's sizes are different from women. Why? Well, they're different. Men and women. Please. There are some things you don't have to explain. <laughs> If you could just give me some idea. Uh, I'll show you. Wait a minute. She's, um, she's bigger than this girl. Uh-huh. How much bigger? I'll show you. Wait. You see, I dance with Rosa to find out. <laughs> no, that's not Rosa, no. No, that's not Rose. No. <laughs> that's Rose. <laughs> I see. I think a size 50 would be just about right. No, wait a minute. That's fine. Here. That'll be 43.98 with tax. Uh, sales merchandise is not returnable, you know. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, this is going to be a charge. Here's my credit card. All right. I think the young lady will be very happy with this dress. I suggest she wear a corsage with it. Well, she better. <laughs> if she don't wear a corsage, she's never going to fit into this. <laughs> Let me know how she likes it. Yeah, okay. I'll write this up for you now. Thank you. <laughs> What's wrong, Miss Birch? Your friend forgot his credit card. Oh. Well, I'll take it. I'll give him a call when I go off duty tonight. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Pasquale Spaghetti Palace. Pasquale speaking. Yes, yes, Luigi Pasco, he work here, but he's not in the now. I tell him to call you, huh? Who is this? Mamma mia. Store detective. Hello. What he did, huh? Hello. Hello. He hang up. He did it. Shoplifted the blue suit. <laughs> I a pup squeak. I'm going to kill him. Going to break him in two like a breadstick. I catch your torrent like a chicken. 
Hello, good Swanee. Hello. There you are, you big little crook, you. What's the matter with you? Oh. You flipping off of your lid? <laughs> How could you do a thing like this to me? when I got such a good reputation for being honest all these years. Now you bring a shame down on my head, eh? Marcus Sadie shame. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I heard about what you did just now. You went to the store and you stole a blue suit. The storekeeper's detective told me. What? Yes, I know all about it, eh? Now, what about it? No, 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 I didn't steal an old suit. No. Mama, Wait, no. listen, don't lie. I'm gonna call and turn... No. I won't turn you over to the police. I love you like my own son. I told you I didn't steal a no suit. This is no suit. No suit. No suit. No. This is a dress that I buy for Rosa. Because a stingy papa wouldn't buy her one. Oh. I got this on credit. Luigi, a dress. You got a head like a cabbage. What's the matter? You mad because somebody's nicer to your daughter instead of her own papa? I gave Rosa the money to buy the dress when I met her in the store because she was crying all over the vacuum cleaners. <laughs> you give her the money to Rosa? See? Si. And I can't turn, return the dress and... Now she's got two dresses and I still don't got a blue suit. Serve your right for being so foolish. If you were to listen to me... You... Now we know what the, look what Luigi got. Oh, Luigi, that you wear. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, now you've got the two dresses and this dope don't even got one blue suit. He's no dope. Oh, don't tell me. I love him like my own son. But still I say he's a dope. If he was a dope, would I have bought him this? Look, Luigi. <laughs> That's for this, and that's for this. Luigi, this suit has two pair of pants. <laughs> Luigi and Pasquale will be back in a moment. The Racket Squad will be along later tonight on most of these same stations with the thrilling inside story of police action against swindlers. Every other Thursday, CBS Television invites you to observe at first hand how swindlers victimize the public. For your own protection, watch the Racket Squad tonight and whenever this authoritative program comes to your channel. And now back to Luigi and Pasquale. <laughs> Thank you so much for the compliment, Miss Baldwin. Like you dance pretty good to yourself. Ah, you dance is so divine. Let hey, it out, hey, hey. let it out. Stop the playing and a sweeper. Huh? Ah, I'm a sweeper, all right. I'm just practicing how to dance for tomorrow night's dance. Well, you stop a practicing with Mrs. Spaulding because you've got to take a Rosa. Herman Schmidt has the flu. But, 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 no buts. Where are you going? If I'm going to take a Rosa to the dance, then I'm going into the kitchen and dancing with the refrigerator. <laughs> Also appearing in tonight's cast were Frank Cady, Herb Bygren, and Eve McVeigh. Be sure to join us again at this same time next week for another warm and gay half hour with Luigi and his friends. Life with Luigi is a CBS Network television production. Enjoy Four Star Playhouse on the CBS Television Network.